So last week, uh, we continued in our series called The Significance of the Number 7 in Scripture. And we were at the beginning of the the blowing of the seventh trumpet. And we're going to reread that piece tonight because we got off into the mystery of Elohim, who Elohim is. Mm -hmm. Uh, And and it it just takes so much. And and it's always... uh, delighted me to do this class and it's been a while since I've done it so praise y'all we're going to finish this it is it is it is we're going to finish hopefully we'll finish this tonight if not we'll keep going until we do Um, so let's go ahead and get started with tonight's class pick up Revelation chapters 10 verse 7 and then we're going to read chapter 11 Revelation 11 verses 15 through 19 Verse 7, chapter 10, verse 7. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of Elohim should be finished, as he has declared to his servants, the prophets. The mystery of Elohim should be finished, as he has declared to his servants, the prophets. So you got to search the prophets, don't you? In order to understand this mystery of Elohim, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go over to chapter 11 and let's pick up the sounding of the seventh trumpet. See what it's all about. Wow. Chapter 11, verse 15. 15. Mm -hmm. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Yah. Mm -hmm. And of his Mashiach, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the 24 elders which sat before Elohim on their seats fell. Y'all see how it said the kingdom of of L-O-R-D at first, and then it says, and the 24 elders which sat before Elohim Mm -hmm. on their seats Mm -hmm. fell upon their faces and worshipped Elohim. Why? Because no man has seen Yah Mm -hmm. at any time. The word, the glory of Yah, his arm. He reveals the Father. Verse 17. Saying, we give you thanks, O Yahweh Elohim Almighty, which are and was and are to come, because you have taken to you your great power and has reigned. So So the mystery, the ending of this whole thing is what? Yah's son sitting on their thrones, reigning on this mm-hmm. earth, mm-hmm. right? That's what it's all about. Yeah. The whole gospel of the kingdom, the right. kingdom of Yah. It's about placing his throne upon this earth right. and right. upon the new earth right. and reigning forever and ever. Mm-hmm. That's what he wanted in the yeah. beginning, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Praise Yah. That's why he created man, to be a king on the earth, right? <coughs> Praise Yah. Praise Yah. All right, verse... 17 again, saying, we give you thanks, O Yahweh Elohim Almighty, which are and were and are to come, because you have taken to you your great power and have reigned. (coughs) And the nations were angry, and your wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that you should give reward unto your servants, the prophets, Mm -hmm. and to the saints. And to them that fear your name, small and great. This is all the other nations, yeah, right? Yeah. The mm-hmm. saints are only Israel. Mm-hmm. And then the rest is all those who what? Take hold to the skirt tail right. of him that is an Israelite or Jew and say, we will go with you because we've heard that Yah is with you. Mm-hmm. Those are the ones that fear yeah. his name, yeah. small and great, of all right. the nations, right? right? Mm-hmm. And should destroy them which destroyed mm-hmm. the earth. Lucifer wow. and all those that work for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Verse 19. And the temple of Elohim was opened in heaven. And there was seen in his temple, or tabernacle, <laughs> the ark of his testament. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They've never found the ark of the covenant, mm-hmm. have, they, have they? Ever. Mm-hmm. They got some people down in Ethiopia guarding the building right to this day claiming that the Ark of the Covenant is in right. there. Don't y'all know them Gentiles would have plowed up all Israel right. if they, if they yes, thought if they really? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that that Ark, right. that thing was overlaid with pure gold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
was that movie Raiders of the Lost Ark mm-hmm. supposed to be out? Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. And but you know they would have they would have they would have plowed up all of heaven if they could find mm-hmm. the Ark of the right. Covenant. Right. And now, this right here is his is yeah. his temple. His temple. Yeah. His ark. Mm-hmm. Ours was just a copy of it. Mm-hmm. He said, make it exactly as yes, I showed right, you. Exactly. Right. It's exactly. a replica of what, what's in heaven in correct, that tabernacle. Correct. Right. correct. Praise so you. is this the second reference to the ark of the covenant being in heaven? Uh, no, it's the only reference oh, to the, the ark being reference. in okay. heaven. Yes. Mm-hmm. So why did he put a copy on earth? So that we can worship him. So we can worship yeah. him. Mm-hmm. It's his throne. Mm-hmm. So when he came and sat on the throne, that was his throne. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's why I remember when David, that man touched it, mm-hmm. he died. when he was moving it, mm-hmm. yeah. because he was not nobody could, the, mm-hmm. could, could move it except a certain uh, tribe of, of the, the Levites, Levites. Right. Mm-hmm. right, that could touch, and they couldn't touch it until it was covered up, right, mm-hmm. right? and then mm-hmm. they could transport it. Mm-hmm. So he touched it without be, even being a Levite, mm-hmm. right, of that tribe. I think it was a Marai, Marai mm-hmm. It could have been Kohathites, but there were four Levites. Only one of those sons were mm-hmm. able to touch the holy things. And that's what the they meant when they said that the Levites were set in order by their courses. That, yes, That they all absolutely. had specific, mm-hmm. jobs, specific jobs and tasks right. that, they, that only that line could do. Could do, exactly. Okay. Okay. And it changed a little bit from when they, they were wandering in the wilderness, right, uh-huh, because they uh-huh. were... You know, they'd have to pack up. They'd have to put the tent out. Yep, yep. And pack yes. up everything and then mm-hmm. move. Mm-hmm. So, but it changed once the tabernacle became a, a building, right? Okay. Because then all they had to do was they had to do go in and do the sacrifices. They'd right. have to put the showbread mm-hmm. and the incense and mm-hmm. do all those things. So the duties changed, but still it was those same four uh, tribes of Levi right. yeah. that had those duties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make sense? Yep. Okay. All right. So. The seventh angel, mm-hmm. there was no, nothing happened other than the fact that the kingdom of Yah and the mystery of Yah mm-hmm. would be ended, right? Mm-hmm. Who, who Israel is and his kingdom that's going to come on earth. Okay. That's what the seventh trumpet right. was all about. Mm-hmm. And it introduced, remember in verse, uh, verse 18, it said, the nations are angry and your wrath is come. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. the vows of ra- the vows that are going to be poured out next is the wrath of Yah. Mm-hmm. So time for the wrath. Mm-hmm. People have already taken the name, number, and mark of the beast. We're in the wilderness now. They're ready to come up and go after us, right? Because mm-hmm. they realize we're in the we're we're we've taken right, the city. Right. Okay, mm-hmm. praise Yah. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Who is this son of uh, Yah? Spirit son of Yah. Let's see who he is. And we we did a lot last week. And we're going to pick this back up again tonight. Um, sister, can you pick it up? Okay, where are we going? We're going to 1 John chapter 5, verse 5. 1 John 5, verse 5. 1 John 5 through 8, my sister. Okay. Everybody there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. One, um, one John 5 and 5 through 8 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got it. okay excellent alright 1 John um, chapter 5 verse 5 mm-hmm. he, um, who is <clears throat> excuse me who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth in Yahshua is the son of Elohim mm-hmm. okay so mm-hmm. was Yahshua the son of Yah at this point he had been resurrected from the dead so he was mm-hmm. the son the true son of mm-hmm. Yah mm-hmm. at this point mm-hmm. at the point that the spirit descended on him well that was when Israel was in him uh-huh. and he was the son but when he died and two and a half days later he resurrected he became what mm-hmm. the son of Yah as well okay. all right we're going to read that but my point is here John talks a lot about Yahshua being the son of Yah. And I know that gets confusing when I say, well, Yah had a spirit son first. Right. right. But, but, but Yahshua is the son of Yah. Mm-hmm. He is the second man, Adam, the son of Yah. I but he that. wasn't the son of Yah in the flesh until he died and was resurrected. Right. right. That first right. creature. The, that first the of first the new begotten. Kind of creature. Right. Okay. That's, that's, that's right. right. That's that we right. can aspire to. 
Absolutely. Yeah. An immoral Absolutely. person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, we can't aspire to being the son of Yah. No, that's exactly. A, that's a right. difference. Right. But resurrection, but, yes. Resurrected body, yes. Right, that's but, what I meant. Chosen mm-hmm. as the son, uh-uh. is only going to be 144, 45. He was the first. Okay. And there will right. be 144 more. Okay, right. Sons. Right. right. Sons of right. Exactly. Yes. That's different than yes. having changed then, bodies. Then, right. Mm-hmm. Praise Yah. Okay, go ahead, sister. Um, chapter 5, verse 6. This is he that came by water and blood. Yahshua came by what? Water, water mm-hmm. and yeah. blood. Right. Mm-hmm. Human. In the womb, what's in there? That's right. Water, water and blood. Water and blood. Mm-hmm. When they stabbed him when he died, what came out? Water and blood. Water yes. and blood. Mm-hmm. 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 That's that's what we as humans are all about. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead, sister. Um mm-hmm. I'll reread that portion. Yes. Um, this is he that came by water and blood, even Yeshua, the anointed one, not by water only, but by water and blood. Mm-hmm. And it is the spirit that bear witness because the spirit is true. Mm-hmm. It is the spirit. They call right. him the Holy Ghost. That's right. Mm-hmm. He is the spirit of truth. The spirit bears witness that Yahshua is now the son of Yah mm-hmm. who was of water and blood. Mm-hmm. In other words, who was a flesh. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead, sister. Verse 7. Verse 7. Uh, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the mm-hmm. Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. And these three are one. Does it say Yahshua? Mm-mm. 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 Huh? No. Mm-mm. But it talks about Yahshua in verse 5 and 6. Mm-hmm. But in verse 7, it says there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Spirit of truth. Mm-hmm. These three are one. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, we heard a voice and it said mm-hmm. what? Let us make man in right. our mm-hmm. image and in our likeness. Mm-hmm. Right. And that that's Elohim. That's Elohim. Mm-hmm. That's the father and the son, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And the spirit what? Moved across there the face of the water. Mm-hmm. You got the, all three and they mm-hmm. what? Agree in one. Mm-hmm. It's not that they're one deity, mm-hmm. one being, mm-hmm. but they agree in one. Mm-hmm. Those three. The word is Israel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said, I don't do nothing but what my father tell me to do. Mm-hmm. I come to do his will. Mm-hmm. He sent me to tell you all the things that I'm telling you. So that's why he told him, he said, if you've seen me, you've mm-hmm. seen the father. Mm-hmm. But no man has ever seen the father. Mm-hmm. The only thing they've seen is who was sitting on that throne that we're getting ready to read about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And in, and in verse 7, the key is... The three that bear record in heaven, in heaven, as yeah. opposed to on earth, right? right. Because those—that's so why you said when you asked the question, did we see um, the Messiah's yes, name here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And because no, he is to reign on earth. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Because he's of what water and blood. Praise God. Right. Right. Spirit has not flesh and blood. Right. Mm-hmm. Israel is a spirit. Mm-hmm. He is yes. the firstborn of the spirits that were created. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's when he told. Um, when he came back, he told the disciples, feel me, touch me. Um, it's I myself. Yeah. I, Spirits do not have, have flesh, flesh and bones, and bones as you bones see me have. have. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay. He was not a, he's a, a, a terrestrial being. Yes. Not a celestial, celestial. being. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was a terrestrial being made everlasting. Yes. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay, so did you finish that? Um, I don't think I did. Uh, okay. I gotta do eight. Eight, yes. Verse eight. And there are three that bear witness in earth, mm-hmm. the spirit and water, and, and the water and the blood. And these three agree in one. The spirit of truth mm-hmm. and man, right? Water and blood. Mm-hmm. That's what we're made of. And these three agree in one. That's why he told you earlier, mm-hmm. the spirit is who tells you that Yahshua is the son of, of, son of Yah. Mm-hmm. It's the spirit that has given us that knowledge. Because why? When Yahshua left, he sent the spirit of truth to us. Right. The comforter. The comforter. Right. Yeah, we're going to read it tonight. Mm-hmm. All right. So I said earlier that when was Yahshua made the son of Yah? At the resurrection of the dead. Let's pick that up again. Romans chapter 1, 1 through 4. Romans chapter 1, 1 through 4. Sister Yohan. Um... So, if aren't the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of Truth the same thing? Yes. So, 
the Holy Spirit slash Spirit of Truth bears record on heaven and on uh, in heaven and on earth. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna we're gonna pick that up tonight. Romans chapter one one through four, Sister Johanna. Okay. Romans chapter one verse one. Paul, a servant of Yahshua, the anointed one, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of Elohim, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures. Mm -hmm. Concerning his son, Yahshua, the Messiah, our Adonai, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. You all hear that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was flesh. Mm -hmm. His father was King David. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Concerning his son. Who? Yah's son. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yahshua the Mashiach, our Adonai, mm -hmm. or Savior, mm -hmm. which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. So there should be no doubt in your mind that Yahshua was a man, born mm -hmm. of a man, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a woman. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's lots of evidence in the scripture that talked about these things that separate from the normal lineage like when um, um, when Jacob told Joseph your two sons are going to be my sons, my sons. Uh -huh. they are not your they're your biological children mm -hmm. but they're my sons they and mine. the the inheritance is switched that's right mm -hmm. okay that's right. absolutely mm -hmm. good example Verse 4. And declared to be the son of Elohim with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. According to the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was declared. What does declared mean? Made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, he, it, it was said. It was designated. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was declared mm -hmm. to be the son of Yah with power mm -hmm. according to the spirit of truth by the resurrection from the dead. Wow. Hmm? That's yeah. when Yahshua, the man, mm -hmm. was became the son mm -hmm. of the father. Mm -hmm. Not just the son of David. Well, Praise God. Not mm -hmm. just the son of David. Praise Amen. God. Now, because now, again, Yahshua is the son yeah. of Yah. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. when, when John wrote that, he was the son of Yah. And so when you read 1 John, you know, you keep saying, he, he, Yahshua is the son of Yah. Yahshua is the son of Yah. And you go, well, I thought Israel was the son of Yah. Yeah, they both are. Mm -hmm. But it was the it was Elohim, which is Yah and Israel. It was their desire. Mm -hmm. What? To make man mm -hmm. and make him king of this earth. Mm -hmm. The first man failed, didn't he? Miserably. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. But the second man, he is gonna take care of the business. Mm -hmm. He is gonna what? Sit on King David's throne. And he mm -hmm. is going to reign over the nations. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Let's go to 2 Samuel chapter 7. 2 Samuel chapter 7. Because if you don't, if you don't know who Yahshua is, you won't be able to deal with who Israel is. Right. Right. 2 Samuel chapter 7. Okay, I got it. Where are we starting? Um, let's pick it up at... Verse 4. And 4 through. Uh, I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. <laughs> Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 4. And it came to pass that night that the word of Yahweh came unto Nathan, saying, Go and tell my servant David, Thus saith Yahweh, Shall you build me a house for me to dwell in? Mm -hmm. Whereas I have not dwelt in any house mm -hmm. since the time that I brought up the children of Israel out of Egypt, mm -hmm. even to this day, but have walked in a tent and in a tabernacle. Mm -hmm. In all the places wherein I have walked with all the children of Israel, spake I a word with mm -hmm. any of the tribes of Israel mm -hmm. whom I commanded to feed my people Israel, saying, Why build you not me a house of yes. cedar? <laughs> House of wood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, therefore, so shall you say unto my servant, I weed. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, from following the sheep, to be a ruler over my people, over Israel. Hmm. And I was with thee whithersoever thou went, 
and, uh, and have cut off all thine enemies out of thy sight and have made thee a great name, great like job. unto the name of the great men that are in the earth. Hmm. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel and I will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Praise yeah. Neither shall the children of wickedness hmm. afflict them any more as before time. Praise right. yeah. God. I mean, Praise David was king and yeah. we were already in the land, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is prophecy about the future. Yeah. Yeah. I was right? about that. Yeah. 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 He's going to what? Plant us back in our own mm -hmm. land. Mm -hmm. And we will move no more. Neither will what? Satan's children mm -hmm. afflict us anymore. Praise God. Hallelujah. Children over today. Mm -hmm. Pick it up at 11. Uh -huh. Okay. Verse 11. And as since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel and have caused thee to rest from all thine enemies, also Yahweh telleth thee that he will make thee a house. Mm -hmm. And will thy day and when thy days be fulfilled and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, mm -hmm. and I will establish his kingdom. It shall mm -hmm. proceed out of what? His bowels. His, yeah, I'm going to set up your seed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how a baby is made, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it shall proceed out of your bowels. Yes. Yes. Pressure. You can't get no clearer than mm -hmm. that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and when his days be fulfilled, after right. he's dead. After yeah. he's dead. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, can't yeah. they can't they store up seed right now mm -hmm. and impreg mm -hmm. impregnate mm -hmm. a woman mm -hmm. with it? One hundred percent. Yes. They can yeah. freeze it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can't y'all? Mm -hmm. yes. Of course. Absolutely. Of course. Huh? And at that time, and now because of the <laughs> advancements of man, mm -hmm. that's a simple thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back then, it was completely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. I wouldn't have even been able to understand. And exactly. they and people still meant. don't understand. That's mm -hmm. exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, it's a thousand years from from Yahshua, from David to Yahshua. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A thousand years mm -hmm. that seed was stored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody but a God could do that. Mm -hmm. Nobody but a God could do mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And he sent that spirit that that uh he sent that sperm by the angel. Mm -hmm. And it, it was implanted mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. mother, that sister seed, sister's womb, and she conceived. Mm -hmm. As a virgin. As a virgin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does conception Can mean? Mm -hmm. Can we say that was the first in insemination? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. the first article. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We that sure I can. And it was through a spirit. Mm -hmm. And the spirit didn't have sex with her. He implanted the seed of David in her. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. We're going to see. Uh, okay, so to go through uh, verse, uh, we need to go through at least 26. Okay. Uh, first, Let's, I'm sorry. Pick up verse 13. Okay. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 13. Mm -hmm. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Mm -hmm. Now, is there anybody mm -hmm. sitting on David's throne right now? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, and it won't until Yahshua returns to this earth and he sits on his father David's throne mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Verse 14. And I will be his father. Mm. Hmm. And he shall be my son. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Um, if he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men hmm. and with the stripes of the children of men. Praise God. But my mercy shall not depart away from him, hmm. as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before you. Amen. And hmm. thine house and thine kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. Praise God. According to all these words and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto Dawid. Amen. <clears throat> then went King David in and sat before Yahweh, and he said, Who am I, O Yahweh Elohim? Amen. And what is my house that you have brought me hitherto? Mm -hmm. And this was yet. A small thing in thy sight, O Yahweh Elohim, but you have spoken also of thy servant's house for a great while to come. A great while to come. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about Solomon, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. built the natural mm -hmm. house of cedar. Mm -hmm. He's talking about a man that was going to sit on David's throne forever, which means he had to be what? Immortal. Mm -hmm. If it's forever. Mm -hmm. That's right. Praise Yahweh. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
And is this the manner of man, O Yahweh Elohim? Amen. Verse 20. And what can we say more unto thee? For you, Yahweh Elohim, know it's your servant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know I ain't worth ten, ten right. good nickels, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise Yah. For thy word's sake and according to thine own heart have you done all these great things to make thy servant know them. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wherefore you are great, O Yahweh Elohim, for there is none like thee. Amen. Ne neither is there any Elohim beside thee. According to all that we have heard with our ears. Praise Yah. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel. Hmm. Whom Yahweh, whom Yahweh went to redeem for a people to himself and to make him a name hmm. and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land before thy people which you redeemed to you from Egypt, from the nations and their gods. Praise mm -hmm. Yah. For thou have confirmed to thyself thy people Israel to be a people unto thee forever. And you, Yahweh, art become their Elohim. Praise Yah. And now... O Yahweh Elohim, the word that you have spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house, establish it forever. Amen. And do as thou hast said. And let thy name be magnified forever, saying, Yahweh of hosts is the God over Israel. And let the house of thy servant, Dawid, be established before thee. For you, Yahweh of hosts, God of Israel, have revealed to thy servant, saying, I will build thee an house. Therefore hath thy servant found his heart to pray this prayer unto thee. Amen. And now, O Yahweh Elohim, thou art that Elohim that my, thy words be, be true. true. Amen. And true. thou hast promised this goodness unto thy servant. Therefore, now let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant, that it may continue forever before thee. For thou, O Yahweh Elohim, hast spoken it, and with thy blessing, let the house of thy servant be blessed forever. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so let's go ahead and confirm it. Let's go over to the New Testament real quick. And let's pick up uh, Matthew. Uh, Sister Charlie, you fill up to reading a little mm -hmm. bit? Yeah, for sure. Let's pick up uh, Matthew. And we're going to do Matthew chapter 1, verse 1 through 6. And then I want you to pick up verses 16 through 25. Okay. Verse 1. 1. The book of the generation of Yahshua, the anointed one, the son of Dawid, the son of Abraham. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just starts out with him being who? The son, the son of, of King David. David. Mm -hmm. yeah. And goes back to the beginning yeah. of our patriarchs, Abraham, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now it's going to take Abraham and go come back up again. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 2. Abraham begat Esau, and Esau begat Yaakov, and Yaakov begat Judas and his brethren. Mm -hmm. And Judas begat Phares and Zara of Thamar, and Phares begat Ezram, and Ezram begat Aram. Now, Phares and Zerah were from Tamar. Remember, it was Judah's uh, daughter-in-law mm -hmm. that she had feigned yeah. to be a prostitute because uh -huh. he wouldn't allow his youngest son to marry her. So she was like, okay, I, I got your number. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she became impregnated with twins. Mm -hmm. She was the, the bearer of the mm -hmm. lineage that would... Bear the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Bear David and then the Messiah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, okay, skip down to verse 6, sister. Verse 6. And Jesse begat Dawid the king. And Dawid the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias. Okay. So let's skip over to verse 16. Verse 16. And Yaakov begat Yosef, the husband of Mary of whom was born Yeshua, who was called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to Dawid are 14 generations. Mm -hmm. And from David unto the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. Mm -hmm. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto the Mashiach are 14 generations. Mm -hmm. Lots of time, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Verse 18 says, Now the birth of Yeshua, the anointed one, was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Yosef, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Yosef, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. 
But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the angel of the Adon, no, the angel of Yah appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Yosef, thou son of Dawid, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Now, when you read that, people automatically yeah. think, oh, the Holy Spirit impregnated yeah. her. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. He put the seed of David mm-hmm. in her. Mm-hmm. You're thinking in natural terms. Mm-hmm. Exactly. exactly. Imagine that kind of faith. Praise Not God. just for Praise her, God. but also for him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Hallelujah. That kind of yeah. faith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. because even before he knew, he mm-hmm. knew he wasn't going to. Because she could have been stoned to yes. death. Yes. Thinking mm-hmm. that she yes. had yes. committed, you know, yeah. some atrocity. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But he was a good He and loved her. He, and he, he loved her. Yes. Mm-hmm. He loved her. Mm-hmm. So he was chosen too, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He really mm-hmm. was. Mm-hmm. Verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Yahshua, for he shall save his people from their sins. Mm-hmm. That's what Yahshua means. Yah mm-hmm. salvation. salvation. Mm-hmm. Yah saves. Mm-hmm. Verse 22. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Adonai by the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Listen, y'all. Which being interpreted is Elohim with us. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Did they call him Emmanuel? Mm -hmm. No, they called him Yahshua, Mm -hmm. right? But Emmanuel means Israel yeah. or Elohim yeah. is That's with good. us. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the son, David's son was born so that what? Israel yeah. could be with us. Mm-hmm. Elohim could dwell in flesh mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and be among us. This is what it's saying. Right. And we get ready to read in Isaiah where the prophet said this. Mm-hmm. But a virgin shall be with child mm-hmm. and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Which being interpreted is Elohim is with us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they call, with the angel just told to call him Yahshua. Mm-hmm. Okay. But Emmanuel means Elohim is with us. Mm-hmm. Okay, remember that, y'all. Yeah, verse 24. Okay. Then Yosef, being raised from his sleep, did as the angel of Yah had bidden him and took unto him his wife and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Yahshua. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay, let's go over to, uh, to Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. Matthew, Mark, then Luke. Now, in Luke, if you read through chapter 3 of Luke, then what we got in chapter in Matthew was the lineage from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob through Yosef, uh, right? Mm -hmm. But then in in Luke, you get the lineage from Judah through Mary, Mm -hmm. okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. So both were of the house of Judah. They had to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so you're going to pick up my sister Luke chapter 1, mm-hmm. verse 26 through 38. And of course, uh, John the Baptist had already been conceived and was six months in the womb of uh, Elizabeth at this time. Mm-hmm. Verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from Elohim unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Great job. Now look. Pick up verse 19 because it says Gabriel was sent from Elohim. Gabriel is one of the four angels that stands in the presence, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, Re- read verse 19. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel that stands in the presence of Yah, hmm. and am sent to speak unto you and to show thee these glad tidings. Praise Yah. So not only does he, he stand in the presence of the, of, of Yah, but also he's part mm-hmm. of the seven that stands in the presence mm-hmm. of the Ancient of Days. Right. Mm-hmm. The, the four, it's only one different that stands in the presence of Yah that's, that's different than the, the, the seven that stands in Israel's presence, and we'll, and we'll get to that. Mm-hmm. I thought that was interesting, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so he told him who he was, right? Mm-hmm. This was, he told uh, Zachariah, he's Gabriel that stands in the presence of Yah, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now go pick up verse 26 again and go through 38. Okay, verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from Elohim unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth 
to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Yosef mm-hmm. of the house of Dawid, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, <laughs> you that are highly favored. Mm. The Adonai is with you, or no, Yahweh is with you. Blessed are you among women. Praise Yah. Mm-hmm. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation mm-hmm. this should be. Hmm. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with Elohim. And behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahshua. Mm -hmm. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. He shall be called the son of Yah. Future. Future. Mm -hmm. He shall be, not at his birth, Mm -hmm. at his his resurrection. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the Adonai and Yahweh shall give unto him the throne. Yahweh Elohim. Yahweh Elohim shall give unto him the throne of his father Dawid. Mm. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So did yeah. Mary have any question Inkling. in her mind yeah. as to who the father of her child would be? Oh no. The angel told her. Yeah. Right at conception, he said, "He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest." Mm-hmm. And Yah Elohim shall give unto your son the throne of his father, King David. Right. Because she knew that Joseph wasn't his father. Right. right? Mm-hmm. right? Joseph knew that too, right? And Joseph yeah. knew Praise that God. too. Mm-hmm. So this is prophecy to her way back then. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. at the beginning. At the, when he yeah. was about to put that seed in her womb, he told her who the father was. Mm-hmm. Isn't yeah. that right? Yeah. I mean, every woman's supposed to know who the father <laughs> yeah. is. That's true. You know, hey. Verse 29, and when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and mm-hmm. cast in her mind what va- manner of salutation this should be. Mm-hmm. And the angel said unto her, fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with Elohim. And behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahshua. Mm-hmm. He shall be great mm-hmm. and he'll sh- he shall be called the son of the highest. And the Adonai Elohim shall give him the throne of his father Dawid. And he shall reign over the house of Yaakov forever. Praise Yah. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Amen. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Mm -hmm. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come, a Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Mm -hmm. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of you shall be called the son of Yah. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. And you know, we had 200 angels that messed around and lusted after women and they were, they were cast forever Mm -hmm. out of the presence of Yah. Mm -hmm. So, so Gabriel Mm -hmm. is not telling her that the spirit of truth is going to have sex with her. Right. Right. He said the power of the spirit Mm -hmm. is going to come over you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And the thing that, that shall be of you it, that conception yep. is gonna be is go, gonna be the result. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Right. Yeah. Verse thirty six. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. Praise God. And the sixth month of our year is what we call September today, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So met, so Elizabeth was six months pregnant, pregnant. in September. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. October, November, December. So who was born in December? John, John Baptist. Baptist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mary was only three months right. pregnant in mm-hmm. December. Right. Mm-hmm. So she was born. He was born in June, in mm-hmm. the summer, mm-hmm. which makes mm-hmm. sense. The shepherds were out sleeping with their flocks mm-hmm. at night. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. It was warm. It was hot. They were traveling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That they had made people go back to their ancestral lands to be yeah. taxed, mm-hmm. riding on yeah. mules and donkeys. They don't mm-hmm. do that in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. So mm-hmm. it was warm outside. Mm-hmm. Okay, so to pick up uh, verse, go, we're going to stick over to verse uh, 68. Okay. Pick up 67. 67 through 75. Did you want to go through 38? 7 and 38. Okay. 37. For with Yah, nothing shall be impossible. Praise Yah. Mm-hmm. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of Yahweh, yeah. be it unto me according to your word. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Be it unto me according to, to your, your word. word. Mm-hmm. 
not your action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he didn't have sex with her. Right. He implanted that that baby, that mm-hmm. that seed in her. And she had faith. And she conceived. She had yes. faith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be it unto me according to your word. And the angel departed, departed from, her. from her. That was it. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Okay, pick okay. up uh, verse 69. Mm-hmm. And you're going to go through verse 76. Okay. 76? Uh-huh. 69 through 76. I'm sorry, pick up 67 through 76. Okay. Verse 67. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be Yahweh Elohim of Israel, Mm -hmm. for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, Dawid. A horn. He's raised Mm -hmm. up. Now, his son, John, had just been born. Mm-hmm. And he had not spoken yeah. for nine months. <laughs> His tongue right. had been held tight yeah. for nine months. Mm-hmm. And the first thing he says after he was filled with the Spirit and his tongue, he says what? He's talking about the horn of salvation right. Right. that has been raised up in the house of yeah. David. Mm-hmm. Speaking about the Messiah. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead, sister. Pick up verse, verse 69. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant Dawid. Amen. And as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Praise Yah! Isn't that what he what what David mm-hmm. said in his prayer mm-hmm. that we be able to. We be able to worship God in spirit and yep. truth without fear mm-hmm. from the enemy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Is that did you finish that, sister? Not yet. Okay. Verse seventy three. The oath which he sware to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. Mm-hmm. Praise God. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. That's exactly mm-hmm. what he told David we would do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Praise y'all. And he told all the prophets that. He told Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that. Mm-hmm. Nothing is new under the sun. Mm-hmm. Everything right. was prophesied from the beginning. Mm-hmm. So uh, I want to stop right here and let's mm-hmm. go into our handout. Skip the, the first and second one, because I kind of went out of the order that I should have. But I want you to go to handout number three. And it is chapter 46 of the book of Enoch or in mm-hmm. the book of Jubilee. So y'all can see so far, we got three that bear witness in heaven. And then we got Yahshua, we got the, uh, which is the water and the blood and the spirit that bear witness on the earth, right? So we got to understand that even in the book of Jubilees and the book of, of Enoch, we're still seeing Yahweh. We see the head of days, which is Israel, and we see the son of man, which is King David's son, right? Mm -hmm. So this is going to pick that up, and then we're going to get back into some more scripture. Uh, Chapter 46, verse 1. Okay. And there I saw one who had a head of days, Mm -hmm. and his head was, was white like wool, and with him was another being whose countenance had the appearance of a man. And his face was full of graciousness, like one of the holy angels. Mm -hmm. And I asked, just the underlying part? Uh, No, go ahead. Okay. And I asked the angel who went with me and showed me all the hidden things concerning the Son of Man, who he was and from from where he was Mm -hmm. and why he went with the head of days. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Who he was. Who was this Son of Man? Where did he come from, yeah. where he was, mm-hmm. and why did he go with the head of days? Mm-hmm. Praise God. Go ahead, sister. Okay. And he answered and said unto me, This is this is the Son of Man who has righteousness, with whom dwells with whom dwells righteousness. Praise God. And who reveals all the treasures of that which is hidden, because mm-hmm. the Lord of uh, spirits has chosen him. Mm-hmm. And whose lot um, and whose lot has the preeminence before the Adne of spirits. Yeah, of spirits. I mean, yeah, of spirits. In uprightness forever. Praise Yah. And this son of man whom you have seen will raise up the kings of the mighty from their seats. Hmm. 
and the strong from their thrones, and will loosen the reins of the strong and break the teeth of sinners. Of the sinners. And he will put down the kings from their thrones and kingdoms, because they do not extol and praise him, hmm. nor humbly acknowledge from where the kingdom, uh, from where the kingdom was bestowed unto them. Upon him, upon them, upon them rather. Hmm. And in he other will, words, the, the mm -hmm. kings of the earth won't humbly acknowledge that Yah bestowed their kingdoms upon them. Right. Not right. they themselves. Right. Hmm. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 6. And he will put down the countenance of the strong and will fill them with shame. And darkness will be their dwelling. And worms will be their bed. Hmm. And they will have no hope of rising from their beds because... They do not extol the name of Yah, spirit. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. And raise their hands, I'm sorry, yeah, raise their hands against the Most High, mm -hmm. and tread upon the earth and dwell upon it. And all their deeds manifest unrighteousness, and their power rests upon their riches, mm -hmm. and their faith is in the, in the gods which they have made with their hands. And they deny the name of Yah, spirit. Praise Yah. And they persecute the house of his congregations, and the faithful who hang upon the name of Yahweh of Spirit. Y'all hear that, sister? Mm -hmm. So he, Enoch wanted to know who there was this, there's Yah of Spirit, mm -hmm. and then there's the what? Head of days, and there's the son of man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Yah and now his two sons, mm -hmm. the spirit son and the flesh and water mm -hmm. that was made his son, David's son, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All, Enoch saw all three. Well, wow. he saw he saw the two. He didn't see y'all spirits, but he saw those two, right? Mm -hmm. Praise God. Okay, let's go to Revelation. Revelation chapter. What? Revelation. Let's deal with this head of days. Let's pick up Revelation chapter one. Revelation. <laughs> Revelation. <laughs> Ah, Revelation. Revelation chapter 1. And sister, quickly pick up uh, verse 4 through 8. And then, and then verses 12 through 16. And let's do read about this head of days. Okay. Revelation chapter 1 start at verse 4. Mm hmm. Yes, ma'am. It will go through 8. Yes. And then we're okay. going to pick up verse 12 through 16. Already. Okay. But remember what, what John said. He said that he saw one who who had a head of days mm -hmm. or ancient of days, and his head was white like wool, mm -hmm. and with him was another being whose countenance mm -hmm. had the appearance of a man, and his face was full of graciousness, like one of the holy angels. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they called him what? The son of man. Who he was and from where he was and why this son of man went with the ancient of days. Hmm. And then he went on to say that the son of man was going to take care of the kings of the earth, put down their rule, mm -hmm. and he was going to rule. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Pick up this. Okay. Pick up all three <clears throat> in four through eight, and then we're going to read about the appearance of the ancient of days. Okay. Revelation 1, one. four through eight. 12 through 16. Verse 4. Yohanan to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come. Amen. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Yahshua the anointed one who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth. Hmm. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Praise mm -hmm. Yah. So he Praise said he's the prince of the kings of mm -hmm. the earth. Mm -hmm. The first begotten of the dead. Mm -hmm. That's who Yahshua is. Yes. But in the in the verse 4, it talks about the one that was and is and is to come. Mm -hmm. And from the spirits that are before his throne, right? Mm -hmm. Two separate beings, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Verse 6. And have made us kings mm -hmm. and priests unto Elohim and his father. Unto Israel mm -hmm. and Yah. Mm -hmm. To Yahshua be glory and dominion forever and ever. Mm -hmm. So let Amen. it be. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. 
Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Behold, Yahshua is mm -hmm. returning with clouds, because that's how he left, didn't mm -hmm. he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Acts chapter 1, it says, they looked and they saw as he rose up and a cloud mm -hmm. covered him mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. took him up into the, into the, mm -hmm. into the heavens, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, he's coming back in a cloud. Mm -hmm. And if you've been dealing with this series, we've learned all about mm -hmm. the clouds mm -hmm. and the rainbow oh, yeah. and the smoke oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. the this and the that. Everything mm -hmm. has a meaning and everything is used by Yah. Mm -hmm. So it looks like in one verse it's talking about, in, in verse one Israel it's talking then, about Israel right. and Yah. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm sorry, verse four. four right. But it, it, it says, and from Yahshua, the mm -hmm. Mashiach, mm -hmm. in verse five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... Verse 5 through verse 7, it's talking about Yahshua. <laughs> but verse 8, it goes back to speaking of who? Israel. Yeah, right, I see. Because right. Israel is what? The Alpha and the mm -hmm. Omega, the beginning and the end right. of all things that Yah created. Mm -hmm. yep. Right. Because first, first The head of days. That's why they call him the head of days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you saying, John? It's like, no, but the fact that verse 4 and verse mm -hmm. 8 go hand in hand, speaking about Israel. Right. Um, yeah. The fact that he was from, what uh, what does it say? He was, was and, and is. is to come. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. going to 8, talking about Alpha and Omega. Which the is beginning right, and the end. Mm -hmm. Which is totally different than verse 5, which it says, and from Yahshua the right. anointed. The first begotten of the dead. Of the dead, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Totally. <coughs> Praise Yah. Praise Yah for that spiritual life. Mm -hmm. Verse 8 I am Alpha and Omega The beginning and the end Says Elohim Which is and which was And which is to come The Almighty Praise mm -hmm. Yah Now skip over to verse 12 sister. Verse 12 And I turned to see the voice that spake with me And being turned I saw seven golden candlesticks And in the midst of the seven candlesticks One like unto the Son of Man clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. But he said he was like mm -hmm. unto mm -hmm. the son of man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Israel said, let us make man in our image. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So you got to know that Israel and Yah has the image of a man when they want. When they want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can be anything they want. Mm -hmm. But they definitely have an image of a man because that's how they made man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, even though it mentions Yahshua in verse 5 through verse 7, Yahshua has not come on the scene yet. He won't come on the scene until verse until chapter 4. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he said in verse 12, And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, mm -hmm. or seven angels. In verse right. 4 it says, which is and which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Mm -hmm. Those are the seven candlesticks, mm -hmm. the seven angels that yeah. stand before his throne. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, verse 13. Okay. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Mm-hmm. His head and his hairs were white like mm, wool, right. as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Is this is this Christ? Christ was thirty three years mm -hmm. old when he died. Mm -hmm. Thirty three. Mm -hmm. He wasn't an old man, mm -hmm. but the head of days. Mm -hmm. We just read Enoch said his hair was white, white. as white as wool, mm -hmm. right? Which is after gray. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. 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 Ancient of days. Ancient, ancient of days. Yes. He said, I saw a head of days who had a head that was white like oh, wool. Right. The other thing that is crucial too is that he describes in 14, he says his head and, and his, his hairs. hairs. Mm -hmm. So oh, he's saying like not just not just the color, mm -hmm. but the texture also. Right. Because he said Color the hairs white, were like wool. Wool. Yeah. And white woolly. And thick and, wool. and, thil, right. thick and woolly. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you read in Enoch and you said his hair was white white like wool, it could be any any person. Uh -huh. But when you speak to the color and the texture, and the texture. Uh -huh. he okay. said his hair and his head. Right. His Praise hair God. and hairs. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. 
and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Hmm. And so his, what color was his feet? My hand up. There you go. <laughs> hand up. And we're going to read it a little more in, in uh, chapter 4. But mm-hmm. especially when it, it describes him yeah. that sits on this throne. Right mm-hmm. now we're just describing him, period, right? Mm-hmm. He had dark feet. We know what color like yeah. brass mm-hmm. is. And it, this was not just regular yeah. brass. Brass. Yeah. This was brass that was burned Burn in the fire. Right, that's, the fire. that's what was the, the giveaway to me. Okay, yeah. it's yeah. burned in the fire. It was pretty dark. Yeah. And his voice was as the sound of many rushing waters. waters. Mm-hmm. We've seen that throughout yeah. the series. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, it says verse 16. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shines in his strength. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me and saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Mm -hmm. I am he that lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hmm. And have the keys of hell and of death. And, you know, people, you know, they they, they made you believe everything in red is Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, didn't Israel die? When he entered that body, didn't he also die? Mm -hmm. That's why he came. Mm-hmm. He was in that body. He died. And then they said, what? He gave up the what? The, the spirit. Mm-hmm. He gave up that spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he went back and sat on the throne that we're reading about right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the man, the flesh and blood man, Yahshua, he stayed dead for two and a half days. Mm-hmm. You know, if you know what else is interesting? That's yes, right there in verse 16. It says, And his countenance was as the sun oh. shine in his strength. Praise and God. you connect that back with the um, the new earth, whereby on in Israel, in the, the city of Jerusalem, there will be no sun. There no won't be a need sun. for a sun. Praise because God. you see here how bright his countenance, his countenance is. His countenance he is the sun. Was. Right. Well, he says it, that was the end of 16. 16. Oh, okay. His countenance was as the sun yeah. shines yeah. in his, his strength. strength. Mm-hmm. So it's already telling yeah. you what's going to, you know, how it may. How great. Yes. Yeah, what yeah. it's going to be like in the very The yeah. brilliance yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. of the sun. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This head of days is. Praise God. Praise God. But he said, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. So let it be. And I have the keys of what? The grave and of the very act of dying. Praise y'all. All right. So let's pick this up in Revelation chapter 2. Remember what we just read, verse 18, my sister. Revelation 2, just verse 18. Okay. That was powerful. Mm -hmm. Just verse 18? Yes. And remember, John just brought out about the countenance. Yes. His his son, uh, he was as the countenance Mm -hmm. of the sun that shineth, right? Mm -hmm. And in verse uh, 14, it says at the end, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sun, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Okay. Chapter 2, verse 18. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira, 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 right? These things says the son of Elohim, who has his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. Mm -hmm. We're still talking about the same Mm -hmm. deity that was sitting on that Mm -hmm. throne, right? The head Mm -hmm. of days. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Skip over to chapter... So, you know, even if, okay, just reading this, it's it's obviously we're not talking about Yahshua. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even if these people don't know Elohim, they got to know something else is up. Mm -hmm. They can't just assume Mm -hmm. that this is, Mm -hmm. it's a mystery. Yeah. And um, unless unless Yahweh show it to you, Mm -hmm. you will not understand Mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So they'll keep thinking it's the Mashiach? Yeah. It doesn't make sense, though. Mm-hmm. I guess you don't see that it doesn't make sense right. until you know. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and you got to understand what happened. See, mm-hmm. uh, of course, Satan can't do any more than what Yah allows. So right. what Satan did was what he elevated Yahshua to a god. Mm-hmm. So the the, 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 the the biggest religion of the world believes that Yahshua is mm-hmm. their god. That's just true. 
So they don't know nothing about Israel or Yah anymore. Mm -hmm. And so to, in order to do that, all of this became Yahshua, everything speaking. Which is why they pray to, to Jesus. To Jesus, yeah. Directly to Jesus. I shouldn't say Yahshua, I should say Jesus, because mm -hmm. it's a difference. Mm -hmm. But sure. you see my point. Mm -hmm. So it, the mystery of Elohim is great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You won't know this until unless Yah reveals it to you. Mm -hmm. Most people believe the lie. Right. That's Satan's deception on this earth. Mm -hmm. Who this man is, who Israel is, and who Yahshua mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As it relates to the Lord of Spirits, who is Yahshua. Mm -hmm. You know what else is interesting? This is still going back to that the eyes of a flame of fire you mm -hmm. know, and connecting with everything else. Feet so, like fine bread. Right. You know, so often, you know, when people, like I said, connect this and say that this is, you know, Jesus or what have you, mm -hmm. they, you know, they'll often also draw pictures and have his eyes red and flaming. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, all the spirits, you go back to the spirits, they were literally living oh, fire. fire. Right. They were fire. Yeah. So this is, and, and that's the thing, I think, uh, you know, so often we we go off in saying, well, that's just a way of describing something. Red or, eyes. You know, but red mm -hmm. eyes. No, this is exactly what it says. Right. It, say, it says what it says. Mm -hmm. And that's what it means. Like it's like a flame fire. Of fire. Mm -hmm. Right. Just like all on the fire. angels were on fire. Just Wait, like we read about God. the um the burning bush. Praise the God. angel was mm -hmm. literally on fire. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Hallelujah. did not burn yeah, up the bush and did not burn up himself mm -hmm. because Praise he was of fire. Praise God. Hallelujah. And if they wanted to describe he it differently. He made all his spirit his spirit, ministering spirits, flames yeah. of fire. Praise mm -hmm. God. But Praise the son, mm -hmm. not any of the other angels mm -hmm. he called his sons, only mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. The head of days. Yes. Mm -hmm. He yes. called him. He was the first creature created ever, and he ever before anything was yeah. made. And he called him his son. Mm -hmm. But the other, uh, the other angels are his creation. Yeah. They do his mm -hmm. bidding, mm -hmm. but he did not call them sons. sons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only Israel, and then after Yahshua was resurrected from yep. the dead, then Yahshua was his son. Yep. Frasia. And, and, so, and even as being a being sons of his, they are sons to a different level. They're not that ancient of days. They're not the one who came before any creation, right. anything. Right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the other God. thing too, if they didn't want to use the word fire, there were other things that they used to describe red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Princess. There were times that they would say red, ruddy, mm -hmm. right. yes, all exactly. sorts of different exactly. descriptions. They mm -hmm. used fire because it really was fire. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. exactly. Yep. Yep. But you know, they 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 would say about Yahshua, he was a wine bibber. So mm -hmm. you know, when you drink too much wine, your eyes red. get red. Mm -hmm. So that's why they. They, they they think those people that make this uh, dark skin, white hair, red eyes, they think that's Yahshua. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Even Hebrew Israelites, mm -hmm. they're putting mm -hmm. this stuff out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It wasn't no red eyes. This mm -hmm. man, this this big deity was on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he was in the, the shape of a man. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And this right. color tone, we see you can see people in our culture that have reddish. Oh, I mean yeah. they have reddish really brown. Red, reddish, yeah, reddish, mm -hmm. reddish, mm -hmm. brown mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's skip over to Revelation. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that one. I'll bring that one out later. We mm -hmm. talk about the new city Jerusalem. Pick up Revelation chapter four, verse one through three. Okay. So, we, the, from one through three, it the seven angels from the seven churches, Israel is warning them about certain things that's one that was gonna happen. Right? Those mm -hmm. seven churches mm -hmm. that were set mm -hmm. up. We still haven't seen Yahshua yet. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready to see him come on the scene. But first, we're gonna see this. Excuse me, tabernacle set in heaven, and we're going to see what this deity looks like that we've been reading about so mm -hmm. far. And these are the seven churches Paul set up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, chapter 4, chapter four verse, verse 1, one through 3. Okay. And then verse 4 through 11. Okay. So, in other words, 1 through, one through 11. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which mm -hmm. said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Mm -hmm. And immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. Mm -hmm. And he that... <coughs> excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine mm -hmm. stone. 
And there was a rainbow about round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. Mm -hmm. Praise y'all. Okay, so handout number one. Mm -hmm. As you can see, you see it's, it's little, but you see jasper is kind of a reddish stone, mm -hmm. right. reddish brown. Uh -huh. Sardine is a darker brown mm -hmm. stone. Yes, isn't it, it is. Yes, it is. We ain't talking about no white man. Uh -huh. No, not at all. Huh? Mm -hmm. Or no white deity uh -huh. at all. Mm -hmm. And then you got uh, handout number two. It gives you a little bit more detail of what jasper looks like in their jasper beads. Yeah. These right. are stones, yeah. sisters. Yeah. 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 This is this is a dark skinned man. Mm -hmm. it, it gave us. It told us his feet was like fine brass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now in chapter four, it says that mm -hmm. this deity that was sitting on this throne was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can't get no clearer than that, no, can no, it? No, this is just Googling Jasper and Sardine, my yeah, sister. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's all this see. is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great job. But, you know, when we were, that class we had, we were talking about the stones, these precious stones, mm -hmm. also representative of, of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so this throne that he sat on, he, he looked like a dark-skinned man with white woolly hair, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Eyes like fire. Mm -hmm. But there was a rainbow about this throne mm -hmm. in the sight like into an emerald. I guess that's where they get the green screen from. Right. Why do you think I'd be behind a green screen? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here it is. Yeah, that's right. like an emerald. Uh -huh. Green. Uh -huh. Emerald's uh -huh. green, right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. in front of the emerald, is a rainbow mm -hmm. over this throne, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have this dark skinned deity mm -hmm. looking like a man. Mm -hmm. Right there. Man. Mm -hmm. What? Fantastic. It's right. Really beautiful. Right. This is the son of Yah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he said, No man has seen the Father. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what he said? Mm -hmm. No man has seen Yah at any time. That's right. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. But you see him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Moses saw him and the 70 elders saw him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Yah, Yah interacted with, with Moses, but he said, you can't see me. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, I'm going to put you in this, in this mm -hmm. place and you'll see my backside. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you've seen the son, you've seen the father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because he said, let us make man in our image. Mm -hmm. And then he what didn't happened say, to in my him image? after he saw it? Moses shot, mm -hmm, sh mm -hmm. shined after that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To the point where they couldn't even look afraid. upon him. Yep. Mm -hmm. They put a veil mm -hmm. on his face. Right. Mm -hmm. That's some power there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you, yeah. Can you imagine being yeah. in the presence of, of Israel for 40 days? Mm -hmm. Twice. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Given the, the holy laws mm -hmm. of his father. Mm -hmm. You know, he couldn't eat. He didn't eat. He didn't right. need to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Eat that, that word. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't need to eat. Yeah, or drink. Mm -hmm. You try to go for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. eat. <laughs> yeah. He shone. Yeah. <laughs> he shone. Mm -hmm. yeah. He shone. Praise God. He didn't. Hallelujah. He didn't eat natural food. <laughs> he was sustained off of that spiritual that food. Spirit. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What did we read last? Uh, Revelation chapter four. We one through, I went through. Okay. we're picking it up at verse uh, four, my sister. Okay. okay. Verse four, and round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, wow. and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Mm. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of Yah. Praise Yah. And we did we we talked about yeah. all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Mikael, um, Remuel, Fenuel, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. yes. Get the others, yeah. but we talked about all of them. And of those seven, four also stands in the presence mm -hmm. of Yah Himself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pick up verse six, sister. And before the throne. There was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. In the middle mm -hmm. of the throne mm -hmm. and around about the throne were four beasts. This is his throne. Yes. Right? 
it literally this, this is the chariot that carries the throne mm -hmm. of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, sister. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 mm -hmm. Yahweh Elohim Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Praise Yah. Is this the same as the, we were talking about, the, the sea of glass scene? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you see the sea of glass in verse 6. Mm -hmm. And before the throne there was oh, yeah. a sea yeah, right. of glass yes. like unto crystal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, the, and in the middle of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts. Full of eyes before and behind, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, praise y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, let's hold your place right there. We're coming back. But let's go to Ezekiel real quick. And let's confirm the throne of Israel. Mm -hmm. the, or the head of days. Or ancient of days. Okay. Ezekiel chapter 1. And I'll pick it up, sister. Give you a break. Okay. And once again. You Anybody got... feel like reading out there? In virtual land? <laughs> I'm trying to find Ezekiel. I can't yes. it. Ezekiel um, is after Jeremiah, mother. I got Ezekiel what now? Ezekiel 1, verse 22 through 28. 22 through. I'll pick it up. Okay. And once again, a person reading this has to see that this is not who they call Jesus. Mm -hmm. okay. You know? Once again, consistent. He has a which was, thing yet. which is, and is to come. Right, and as certainly not with this chariot. Praise with God. These four beings, yeah. with full of eyes. Right, they've never seen that before. Because and what speaking did, about the Messiah? What did Yah yeah. promise David's son? To sit on his father. To sit mm -hmm. on David's throne. Yeah. Yeah. Not on Israel's throne. Right. Right. David's throne. Right. And Yah's throne is heaven itself. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I mean, you can read, you can pick it up at the beginning, but we just don't have time to go mm -hmm. through all this. But it talks about those four beasts. Mm -hmm. In verse 10, it says, As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion mm -hmm. on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox on the left side, and they four also had the face of an eagle, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they had six wings. To cover their whole body, right? Mm -hmm. Verse 13 says, And the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like what? Burning mm -hmm. coals of fire. fire. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. And the and like the appearance of lamps, mm -hmm. it went up and down among the living creatures. And the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. Wow. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Mm -hmm. Now, as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one will upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. Remember, each one had the face of a lion, mm -hmm. an ox, an eagle, and a man. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, I'm going to pick it up at verse 22. A little bit, because yeah, we just yeah. read about the four creatures, right? Uh -huh. That stood around the throne of, of, of Elohim. Mm -hmm. So verse 10 gives you the same. He, this is what Ezekiel saw, right? He, and it gave, he mm -hmm. gave you the same exact okay. description of them. Okay. Okay, verse 22. And the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible what? Crystal stretched forth over their heads. What? So mm -hmm. when the when when he goes back to heaven, right. he's still on that sea of crystal, mm -hmm. and the living creatures are surrounding him on that sea of crystal. Mm -hmm. But when Israel moves and comes to the earth, they go underneath that sea of crystal and carry him yeah. underneath, and it's like a, a whirlwind. Amazing. All they see is this. And that's how they carry him. He never steps off that sea of glass. Okay. Oh, wow. 
That's why it says yes. underneath, it says, right. verse 22 again, and the likeness of the firmament, isn't that a, a landing? Mm -hmm. Upon the heads of the living creatures was as the color of the terrible crystal stretched forth over their mm -hmm. heads above. Mm -hmm. Why do they call it terrible? I don't know, because <laughs> it was terrible yeah. to see that sight, I guess. I guess just so. Just to see that yeah. sight. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. And under the firmament were their wings, the one toward the other. Every one had two, which covered on this side. And every one had two, we're talking about the four beasts now, which covered on that side their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of what? Great waters. Yes. Same thing we saw in the, in the heaven. Mm -hmm. As the voice of what? The Almighty. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what it said about the voice of the Almighty? Mm -hmm. It was like the noise of yes. the voice of rushing water. Yeah. As the voice of the Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of a host. When they stood, they let down their wings. Mm -hmm. And there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads mm. when they stood and had let down their wings. Wow. And above the firmament that was over the beast's heads was the likeness of a throne. Mm -hmm. As the appearance of what? Sapphire stone. <laughs> And upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness of the appearance of a man above upon it. Now, when Ezekiel saw this, Yahshua wasn't even an inkling in his daddy's loins, okay? So this wasn't Yahshua sitting on that throne. This is the head of days. Verse 27. And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of what? Fire round about within it. Mm -hmm. From the appearance of what? His loins yes. even upward. And from the appearance of his loins even downward. I saw as it were the appearance of what? Fire. Fire. Mm -hmm. And it had brightness round about. Mm -hmm. As the appearance of the rainbow. That is in the cloud in the day of rain. So was the appearance of the brightness round about. Mm -hmm. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of Yah. Mm -hmm. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face. And I heard a voice of one that spoke. Mm -hmm. Praise oh, Yah. Praise okay, skip over to chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Verse 22 through 23. Right there? Mm -hmm. Chapter 3, yeah. verse 22 and 23. And the hand of Yah was there upon me, and he said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with you. Then I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of Yah stood there. Wow. Who was the glory of Yah? His son. Mm -hmm. The one that was sitting on that throne that's carried by those four beasts. Okay. As the glory which I saw by the river Chibar. That's mm -hmm. what we just read. Yeah. yeah. And I fell upon mm -hmm. my face. Praise y'all. Chapter 8. 1 through 4. These prophets are falling on their faces. You better know it. Ooh. We probably be knocked out for days. <laughs> Chapter 8, verse 1 through 4. Yeah. Everybody there? Yes. Chapter 8, verse 1. And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, and the elders of Yehuda sat before me, that the hand of Yah Elohim fell there upon me. Mm -hmm. Then I beheld, and lo, a likeness 
as the appearance of fire, mm -hmm. from the appearance of his loins even downward, mm -hmm. fire, from and from his loins even upward. Now y'all know what his loins are, right? Mm -hmm. That's where the man part is, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So he's saying that he, he was on fire up and down from his loins. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Even upward. Mm -hmm. As the appearance of brightness as the color of amber. Yeah. And he put forth the form of a hand and took me by the lock of my head. Lock of his head. Then the Ezekiel mm -hmm. was a dark skinned, woolly head man too, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. With locks. With he took the form of a hand. The yeah, hand. exactly. Yeah. Right, because he was on fire, and mm -hmm. he took the form of a hand to solidify right. it to grab him. And mm -hmm. grabbed him by the form of his hand. By, by his, he saw a hand, and it grabbed him by his locks. Mm -hmm. Now, Ezekiel was over in, in Babylon. Mm -hmm. He get ready to swing his butt back over to Jerusalem mm -hmm. to show him what Israel that was left in Jerusalem was doing, right? Okay. Ezekiel was part of the first deportation of our people mm -hmm. along with Daniel and Mishael and uh, Abishai and all those brothers. That was the first deportation. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel was part of those that went. But we had the poorest sort along with Zechariah as king in Jerusalem. Okay. And he's getting ready to, Israel's getting ready to take him back over to Jerusalem and show him what, the, what our people were doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You would have thought they would have straightened their act up, but they got worse. Mm -hmm. Left to their own devices. Yes. And the poor, <laughs> verse 2. I beheld, and lo, a likeness as the appearance of fire from the appearance of his loins even downward, fire. And from his loins even upward as the appearance of brightness as the color of amber. Mm. And we saw amber a few mm -hmm. weeks ago. Yeah. It's brightish red, yeah. like fire, right? Mm -hmm. And he put forth the form of a hand and took me by a lock of my head. And the spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven. Mm -hmm. And brought me in the visions of Elohim to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looked toward the north, where was the seat of the image of mm. jealousy, which mm. provoked to jealousy. Mm. And behold, the glory of Yah of Israel was there, according to the vision that I saw in the plain, which we just read. Mm -hmm. Then he said unto me, Son of man, lift up now your eyes the way toward the north. So I lifted up my eyes, Toward the north, and behold, the northward of the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. Mm -hmm. And we ain't going to go through all this, but y'all know right, what happened. Right. They had, no, our people had placed the image, no, <laughs> a pagan yes. god, right. in the image mm -hmm. of one of the entrances, the right. entrance of the temple on the north end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was angry. Very. Mm -hmm. He never said he put him down. Very angry, you my never sister. Never said he put him down. You mm -hmm. standing there by your head the mm -hmm. whole time, yeah. <laughs> looking at stuff, being drugged. Mm -hmm. Very deep, right, very right. deep. You know, right. as far as that image of, of jealousy, jealousy, it's interesting because it said that um, during Herod's time, that Herod had built and placed another image of, you know, of jealousy mm -hmm. in the form of a. Uh, an eagle mm -hmm. on the temple at that time. Oh, and, you know, people oh. know they love them eagles, don't mm -hmm. they? Mm -hmm. These pagans. Okay. Um, let's go, and we see we see the importance of the eagle. It's the greatest flying um, beast that is, right? That's why one of the the four beasts had the head of an eagle, or well, all of them, yeah, right. Just yeah. as man, the head of, of of man. Then you got the lion, head of the all the other beasts. You got all the heads right. represented on right. these four beasts that that carries Israel around, yeah, like a whirlwind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, um finish that. All right. So, we see what this what his throne looked like, right? Mm -hmm. Rainbow, emerald, right? Dark skinned deity that was on fire from his loins up, loins down, right? White hair, woolly, okay? Right. Quick question. And he 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 doesn't move from his throne. These four beasts goes and go underneath that firmament of crystal yeah, and carry him. And all people see is it looks like a whirlwind mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. Right? Because these beasts have eyes everywhere. They mm -hmm. don't need to turn to see because they have right, eyes all say, over. Even the way they travel, it's not, you know, they don't, it's no left, yeah, right, nothing. They, they, they ain't got to look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go this way and they don't need no GPS 
Tell them where right. to go and how to get there, right? They have eyes but everywhere. But they don't turn. They just... Yeah. Well, they, 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 they turn, travel. but they don't have they to, to look to turn like we do. Yeah. Right? Okay. Praise yes. God. It, it's deep. It's deep. Okay. It, you mentioned ox. Uh, is that a clean animal? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's mm-hmm. like a cow. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, let's go and see what... Uh, what our father, uh, our, the prophet Elisha said when he saw this chariot, this throne, if you will, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, Second Kings chapter 2. Second Kings chapter 2. And I'm going to pick it up at verse 9 through 14. So Elijah was about to, to die, lead his earth. And Elisha would become... Yah's prophet. Okay. We're going to 2 Kings chapter 2. And we're going to read verses 9 through 14. And this is, we just read about this throne and the four beasts and the sea of glass and how the four beasts goes underneath that sea of glass to carry this, this deity on the throne who is Israel, right, right? When, he, when he comes to the earth, etc. Okay. And let's see what uh, Elisha saw when Elijah left the earth. I'm going to pick it up at uh, 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9 through 14. Mm-hmm. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I be taken away from you. Now he said before I be taken away. So Elijah knew Mm -hmm. that he wasn't going to die the death of Mm -hmm. other men, right? Mm -hmm. And Elisha said, I pray you let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. Mm. Wow. Yes, indeed. And Elijah said, you have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, If you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so unto you. But if you don't see me, it shall not be so. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire Mm -hmm. and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Mm -hmm. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of who? Israel. 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 And who? The horsemen, those four beasts thereof. And he saw Elijah no more. Mm -hmm. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. Hmm. And he took up also the mantle of Eliah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Eliah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is Yah Elohim of Eliah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted here and there. And Elisha Went through the Jordan mm-hmm. I never on that. dry land. I've never read that before. Come on. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Praise Yah. Mm-hmm. He parted the Jordan mm-hmm. and he went over. Mm-hmm. And when the sons of the prophets, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah do rest on Elisha. Mm-hmm. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him and they said unto him behold no that's as far as i want to go as far as i want to go you all hear what this brother said verse 12 and elisha saw it and he cried my father my father the chariot of israel and the horsemen there of it can't get no clearer than that it really can't can't. his chariot is also his throne that's right and his horsemen are those four beasts that carry it upon that sea of glass. Amen. Questions, comments. I know this is like rocking y'all's brain, but 
that was a lot in those few verses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah. okay, verse 9, it says, Let a double portion of your spirit be on him, showing mm -hmm. that each man has his own spirit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, okay. you go further mm -hmm. here, it says, um, let me see. Horses of fire, more of that fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Verse 13 and verse 14. Stood on the bank of the Jordan, and then it was parted. How many times has the waters been parted for Israel? Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, they were parted mm -hmm. for Moshe. Mm -hmm. They were part parted for um, Joshua. Joshua. Mm -hmm. They were parted for Elisha. Praise God. How many Praise times? Praise God. Through the power mm -hmm. of Yah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. A double portion of that spirit had been put on him. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And he and and so he took the mantle. Mm -hmm. Of, Eli of Elijah, and he hit that water. He said, Where's the Elohim? Where's Yah Elohim of Elijah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That water. That's mm -hmm. a miracle right there. Mm -hmm. And even that. He was saw it. He knew that that spirit was also on him. He had yeah. been given that yeah. double portion, yeah. right? He been given the double portion. Praise yeah. It goes back to the scriptures that say uh, to covet the best gifts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't wrong for him to ask for more because mm -hmm. he wasn't asking for more for vanity. Mm -hmm. or he was coveting Material the best gifts. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was coveting mm -hmm. the gift. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. To be able to serve in a better way. Yeah, to serve yeah. in a better way. Yeah. He wanted to serve yeah. at a higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Question. Yeah. So um, Elijah went up uh, eleven, went up by whirlwind into heaven. I know it's different levels of heaven. Mm -hmm. it, is it meaning it's heaven? Heaven? It just means. Well, you Link, know what is this saying? You know, you got the twenty-four elders, right? Yeah. Well, he's got to be part of that. He's oh. got to be part of those twenty-four. Oh. Enoch. Oh. Okay. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right? Okay. Moses. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know who okay. else, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, yeah. but but definitely he's got to be part mm -hmm. of those twenty-four mm -hmm. elders. As a matter of fact, who did Yahshua see doing right before he was crucified, or the night he was crucified? Moshe and Elijah came to him. Remember in the Garden of Gethsemane. Okay. But yeah, but but Moses and Elijah appeared to Yahshua. You all remember, and they said, "Let's make, let's make a." I forget that the, they wanted to make a, like a shrine or something for them. But um, what did you say? Uh, Matthew seventeen. Oh. We'll pick up one through five. This is deep too. Okay. And after six days, Yahshua took Peter and Yah and James and Johann and his brother. And brought them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto him Moshe and Elijah talking with him. What? Then answered Peter and said unto Yahshua, Adonai, it is good for us to be here. If you will, let us make here three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moshe, and one for Elijah. What? Well, and while he yet spoke, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son in whom I am well yes. pleased. Hear you him. Deep. Very deep. Mm -hmm. Deep. Yeah. yeah. That one's got the soak in. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And that's why they kept saying, because remember they said Elijah was to come, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, whether Elijah is going to be selected as one of the, the two olive trees that stand before the uh, Elohim of the whole earth, I don't know who those two will be. But those two visited Yahshua. Before he went on to uh, to be to be killed, and it says he became transfigured like the sun. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And Yahshua, verse seven, it says, and Yahshua came and touched him and said, "Arise, be not afraid." But that he chose those two, right? Wasn't it two of them or three? Mm -hmm. It was three. It was Peter. James and John, the yeah. three pillars of, of, of the apostles, right, mm -hmm. and of the assemblies. Mm -hmm. He chose them three to see this great thing. Mm -hmm. Which? Praise God. Okay. 
Let's go back to where was I? We were in Revelation and then we were in Second Kings. Okay, so let's go back to Revelation chapter four, one through three. And remember, Elijah, Elisha didn't say the chariot of Yah or the chariot of. He said the chariot of Israel. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah he did say that. <laughs> Hallelujah. He knew he knew mm -hmm. whose chariot it was. Mm -hmm. He also knew that no man had ever seen Yah. Clearly. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going back to Revelation chapter 5, verse 1 through 8. Revelation 5, 1 through 8. I thought you said 4. Yes. I did. I made a mistake because we already read 4. We read 4, 1 through 11. Now we're going to 5. Now we're going to see Yahshua. One through what? One through eight. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne. Who is that? The glory of Yah. Mm -hmm. The word of Yah. Israel. He's the one that sat on the throne. Mm -hmm. A book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof? And no man in heaven, we saw 24, nor in the earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Hmm. And one of the elders said unto me, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Yehuda, mm -hmm. the root of King David, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the middle of the throne and, in the four, and of the four beasts, and in the middle of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits mm -hmm. of Israel mm -hmm. sent forth into all the earth. Because he gave it to them, right? Mm -hmm. And Yahshua came and took the book out of the right hand of Israel that sat upon the throne. Mm -hmm. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Mm -hmm. And they sung a new song saying, you are worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For you were slain and have redeemed us to Yah by, the blood, by, by your blood, out of remember, blood and water mm -hmm. was okay. through it was from mm -hmm. Yahshua, right? right. Mm -hmm. You have redeemed us to Elohim by your blood out of every kindred and language mm -hmm. and people and nation, wow. and have made us unto our Elohim kings and priests, and we shall reign upon the earth. Now, who was saying this? The twenty four elders, right? Mm -hmm. Verse 11, and I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and the elders and the number of them were 10,000 times thousand and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive what power and riches and wisdom and strength. And honor and glory and blessing. Mm -hmm. And every creature which is in the heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that what? Sitteth on the throne. Mm -hmm. And unto the Lamb forever and ever. Mm -hmm. And the four beasts said, so let it be. And the 24 elders fell down and worshiped 
Israel or Yah Elohim mm -hmm. that what liveth forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Y'all yeah. see the head of days and the lamb who is Christ now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Praise Yah. Let's go back to our handout. Let's pick up uh, chapter 48. The handout number four. Chapter 48 what book? Enoch. Enoch chapter 48 which is handout number four. So y'all got to remember in Genesis when you, when Yah told uh, Lucifer what his punishment will be, mm -hmm. he told him what he said. He said, "The Son of Man is going. You're going to bruise his heel, mm -hmm. but he's mm -hmm. going to bruise your head." Mm -hmm. So the Son of Man was was from the beginning, mm -hmm. and and we're getting ready to see that he was named from the beginning. He wasn't from the beginning, but he was already predestined. From the beginning. Right. Does that make sense? Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. On the same and the same point of mm -hmm. Cyrus, a hundred years before he was born, yeah. he was he named, named by name. By Praise name. God. He said mm -hmm. this his mm -hmm. Cyrus would help to bring our people back in the land and rebuild the temple. The temple. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Pick up John uh, Enoch chapter forty eight, verse one, and you can read through verse through verse seven. Okay. All right. Enoch, cha huh. Enoch chapter 8 verse 1 And in that place I saw the fountain of the righteous Which was inexhaustible hmm. And around it were, were many fountains of wisdom And all the thirsty drank of them And were filled with wisdom Praise God If you thirst mm -hmm. right, after righteousness mm -hmm. If you thirst after knowledge, wisdom and understanding If you knock, Yahweh will give yeah. it to you yeah. If you mm -hmm. seek it Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. And their dwellings were with the righteous and the holy and elect. Amen. Verse 2. And at that hour, that son of man was named huh. in the presence of Yahweh of spirits. Mm -hmm. And his name before the head of days. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. you, there you got three right there, right? Mm -hmm. Son of man, mm -hmm. Yah of spirits, and the head of days. Mm -hmm. Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. Yea, before the sun and the signs were created, before the stars of heaven were made, his name was named before Yahweh of spirits. His name was named. Mm -hmm. He wasn't before, right. Right. but Israel right. was before mm -hmm. right. all those things, right? Mm -hmm. But Yahshua, his name was named mm -hmm. yes. at the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Proclaim to be that one. Right. Mm -hmm. right. By name. Because Adam messed up. Mm -hmm. So another one had to take his place mm -hmm. right then and there, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. And even prior to. Amen. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. um, he will be a staff to the righteous on which to stay themselves and not fall. Amen. And he will be the light of the Gentiles. You hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. And the hope of those who are troubled of heart. Praise Yah. All who dwell on the earth will fall down and worship before mm -hmm. him. And will praise and bless and celebrate with song Yahweh of spirits. Mm -hmm. And for this reason he has been chosen and hidden before him. Before the creation of the world and forevermore. Hallelujah. Sister, um, uh, I want you to go to Isaiah chapter 60. Do you want me to finish seven years? Yeah, we're going to, no, we're going to go back. We're going to come back. Okay. But this said in verse four, it says, he will be a staff to the righteous on which to stay themselves and not fall. Mm -hmm. And he will be the light of the Gentiles mm -hmm. and the hope of those who are troubled of heart. Right? Mm -hmm. Pick up Isaiah 50, 60 rather. Verse 1 through 1 through 4. Okay. okay. Isaiah 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh is risen upon thee. And who is the glory of Yah? His son, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Praise uh, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Mm -hmm. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, mm -hmm. and the kings to the, the brightness of thy rising. Amen. Lift up thine eyes around about, and see. 
all they gather themselves together they come to thee thy sons shall come from the fat, from the wow. far mm -hmm. and thy daughters sh um, shall be nursed at thy side praise yah that's as far as i want you to go my sister praise yah so he said what the gentiles mm -hmm. shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. So this is when Yahshua returns in all his yes. glory, yes. right, to reign over the kings of the earth. All right, go back to uh, Enoch, handout number four, Enoch chapter 48, verse five. Verse seven? Okay. Well, do you want me to go over you can go ahead and pick it up there where you left off. Okay. Um, yeah, Enoch chapter 48, verse 7. Mm -hmm. and, and the wisdom of Yahweh of spirits has ve revealed him to the holy and the righteous. For he has preserved the lot of the righteous, because they have hated and despised this world of unrighteousness, hmm. and have hated all of his works <laughs> and the ways in the name of Yahweh of spirits. Sound like us, right? Mm -hmm. I hate yeah, this place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come get us, please. Okay, sure. For in his name they are saved, Amen. and according to his good pleasure has it been in regard for their life, to their life. Yeah, praise Yah. Praise Hallelujah. Yah. All right, pick up uh, the next handout. Enoch chapter 60, 1 through 6. Mm -hmm. All right. Enoch chapter 60, verse 1. In the year 500, in the seventh month, on the 14th day of the in the life of Enoch, in that parable, I saw how a mighty quaking made the heaven of heavens to quake, and the host of the Most High, and the angels, and thousands, thousands, and ten thousand, time ten thousand, were disquieted with a great disquiet. Hmm. And the head of day sat on the throne of his glory, and the angels and the righteous stood around him. Praise God. And then we see all that thousands mm -hmm. times ten yes. thousands mm -hmm. times thousands of thousands mm -hmm. and the twenty four elders, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse three. And a great trembling seized me, and yeah. fear took hold of me, and my loins gave way, and dissolved were my reins, and I fell upon my face. Yeah. And Mikael sent another angel from among the holy ones, and he raised me up. And when he had raised me up, my spirit returned, Amen. for I had not been able to endure the look of this host, mm -hmm. and the commotion, and the quaking of the heaven. Wow. Why? Wow, because he was yeah. like fire mm -hmm. from his loins up and down, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. And Mikael said unto me, Why are you disquieted with such a vision? Mm -hmm. Until this day lasted the day of his mercy. Amen. And he has been merciful and long suffering mm -hmm. toward those who dwell on the earth. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Why? Because he said, let yeah. us make man yeah. in our image. And in Proverbs chapter 8, we read last week where he said, what? My delight mm -hmm. was with the sons of men. Yeah. Yeah. He spoke to Abraham face to face. He said, he's my friend. Mm -hmm. Right. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah for that. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Verse 6. And when the day and the power and the punishment and the judgment come, which Yahweh of, Saint, of spirits has prepared for those who worship not the righteous law, and for those who deny righteous judgment, and for those who take his name in vain, that day is prepared for the elect, a covenant, but for the sinners, an inquisition. Mm -hmm. huh. Praise God. Mm -hmm. As far as I want you to go, sister. Now, wow. finally, let's pick up handout number six. Mm -hmm. Enoch chapter 59 and sister pick up uh, verse 24 through 29. Um, Enoch chapter 69 verse 24. And all these believe and give thanks before Yahweh of spirits and glorify him with all their power and their food is in every act of thanksgiving and they thank and glorify and extol the name of Yahweh of spirits forever and ever. Praise Yah. And this oath is mighty over them, and through it they are preserved, and their paths are preserved, and their course is not destroyed. And there was a great joy among them, and they blessed and glorified and extolled, because the name of that Son of Man had been revealed unto them. And he sat on the throne of his glory, and the sum of judgment was given unto the Son of Man. And he caused the sinners to pass away, 
and be destroyed from off the face of the earth. And when he sits upon the earth yes. on his father, yes. King David's throne, he's going to what? Issue judgment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? It yes. says that he left as a lamb, but he's coming back as a lion. Praise God. And he is going to what? Destroy the nations. The, 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 the great assembly of nations mm -hmm. on, the, on Daniel chapter 2's yes. uh, the great uh, uh -huh. image. He's going to hit it on its feet, right? right? Representing all of the nations mm -hmm. from the very first of Babylon mm -hmm. all the way down to this mingled, mangled uh, uh, amalgamation of nations that's ruling the earth today. Mm -hmm. He's going to destroy it all. Mm -hmm. And he's going to become what? King of kings? Adonai of Adonais. Mm -hmm. He's going to reign forever. Mm -hmm. And you know, and So that's when he sits on the throne of his glory. Praise God. Praise God. And speaking of that being hit on those toes, mm -hmm. the you know, that foot of miry clay and what is it? Miry, miry, iron and miry clay. Iron, iron and miry clay. You know, and it ain't no mix, right? It's like oil and water. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Particularly. That's why you see all the commotion that's that's in the earth today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, These nations mm -hmm. don't agree as one. Mm -hmm, no. mm -hmm. Even to they the, acting like it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Even to the point of all that transhumanism that they're promoting, Praise iron God. and clay, clay. mixed yeah, together. Yes. Graphite and clay. Exactly. Uh, which goes right back to the time frame when the angels was mixing spirit with the terrestrial wow. man. Praise mm -hmm. you know, mm. Creating a whole new Nothing creation. Nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. Creating a whole new creation. And it was deemed evil from Yah. Praise Yah. Yes. Praise the God. greatest evil ever. Yes. He mm -hmm. had to destroy the whole earth because of that mm -hmm. man. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm going to start again mm -hmm. from uh, tw the beginning of 27. And he sat upon the throne of his glory, and the sum of judgment was given unto the Son of Man. And he caused the sinners to pass away and be destroyed, uh, and be destroyed from off the face of the earth. Praise and those God. who have led the world astray. Amen. With chains they will be bound, and in their assemblage, place of destruction, will they be imprisoned. Huh. And all their works vanish from the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And from from now on, there will be nothing corruptible. For that Son of Man appeared and has seated himself on the throne of his glory. And all evil will pass away before his face. And the word of that Son of Man will go out and be strong before Yahweh mm -hmm. of spirits. Praise yeah. Yah. But it sounds like he's on earth now, doesn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, Sister, yes. pick up uh, chapter 71. And we're going to end with this. Verses 7 through 13. Chapter, same page, mm -hmm. page 216, Enoch, chapter 71, verse 7 through 13. Enoch, chapter 71, verse 7. Okay. Same page. Verse 7. And around were seraphim and cherubim and ophanim, hmm. and these are they who sleep not, and guard the throne of his glory. And I saw angels who could not be counted, hmm. a thousand thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousand, mm -hmm. encircling that house. Hmm. And Michael, and Raphael, and Gabriel, and Phanuel, and the, all, and the holy angels who are above the heavens go in and out of that house. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Who are above the heavens. Mm -hmm. right. Those four, Michael, Raphael, mm -hmm. Gabriel, and Phanuel, mm -hmm. and the holy angels, which we saw in verse 7, mm -hmm. the seraphim, the cherubim, and the ophanim, mm -hmm. these are all types of angels mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. sleep not and guard the throne of his glory. Praise yes. God. Okay, go ahead, sis. Verse 9, and they came out from that house, and Michael, and Gabriel, and Raphael, and Phanuel, and many holy angels without number. Mm-hmm. And with them, the head of days, hmm. his head white and pure as wool, and his raiment indescribable. Praise God. And I fell on my face, and my whole body became relaxed, and my spirit was transfigured, and I cried with a wow. loud voice, and with the spirit of power, and blessed, and glorified, and extolled. Hallelujah. Praise God. And these writings, these which, blessings. Uh, and these blessings, which went out from my mouth, were well pleasing before that head of days. Hmm. And that head of days came with Michael and Gabriel and Raphael and Phanuel, thousands and tens of thousands of angels without number. And he came to me 
and greeted me with his voice and said unto me, This is the Son of Man who is born unto righteousness, and righteousness abides over him. Hmm. And the righteousness of the head of days forsakes him not. Praise yeah. God. Praise so God. he is well, yes. he, he and his father. His father, is, everything is about Yah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the son was all for yes. this man becoming what? The son of Yah, mm -hmm. of the son of his yes. father, and mm -hmm. reigning upon the throne of his mm -hmm. glory upon this earth. Mm -hmm. That was, the, the, that was the, yeah. whole mm -hmm. yes. the whole deal from the beginning. The whole deal from the beginning. Before he made the son. Praise Yah. Praise, Praise Yah. Yah. Before he made anything. Mm -hmm. and so we're going to continue because we got a whole lot more to go. But I hope you all got something yeah. out of this. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. I got so Praise much. Hallelujah. <laughs> I gotta, yeah. go, I gotta review this for sure. Please do. And mm -hmm. all the all the scriptures that we read, especially in Ezekiel, read the whole thing and okay. keep going back yeah. to Revelation so you can see mm -hmm. what what this is talking about. But uh, you know, again, no man has seen Yah at any time. So I thank you all, sisters, and may Yah add a blessing to the reading of his word and if you don't quite understand all this, it's okay. Trust me, it, it may take years for you to really yeah. get it. Yeah. But I think that uh, Brother Enoch has really shown you that there is Yah and the head of days, who is Israel, and the son of man, who is Yahshua the Mashiach, the son of King David. Mm -hmm. uh, and next week, we're going to get into the fact that that's why we're called Israel. Mm -hmm. We're not called Yahwehites. We're mm -hmm. called Israelites. Mm -hmm. Why? Because... Israel, who is the glory of Yah, the arm of Yah, he named us after himself. Yes. He changed Jacob's name mm -hmm. to Israel. And why, what does that mean? Prince. Mm -hmm. He said, because as a prince have you power with Yah and have prevailed. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. And again, Elisha didn't say the chariot of Yah. That's right. He said the chariot of Israel, Israel. and the horsemen there of. Mm -hmm. So thank